up next. Things get a little wild in the wilderness. First, it's for better or for worse, the last camping trip. Followed by your favorite lost dog and Benji the Hunted. It's all coming up right here on Disney. Feeling like a Disney family get-together? Every weekday, your family is invited to get united with the Seaver family. Mom, Dad! How great to see you. For a full hour of growing pains on Disney. Bingo! Share in the Seaver's family activities and get in touch with their hopes and dreams. Did it break the world's record for the imitating houses? And now your family can share some quality time with the Seavers with back-to-back -back episodes of Growing Pains every day at 5.30 p.m., 4.30 Central on Disney. And now a few words from Disney. What should I Laugh. Explore. I believe it's fair. Sing. Play. 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 Dance. You're a dancing fool, man. What are you talking? Look at that. Right Perform. Question. Uh, rap? Experience. Let's go surfing. Okay, now try it at home. Laugh, explore, sing, play, dance on Disney. The Walt Disney Company and McDonald's present American Teacher Stories with your host, Michael Eisner. One of the things that many great teachers have in common is they feel they were destined to be teaching in a classroom. They not only love what they do, but they cannot imagine doing anything else. So let the kids tell you about these remarkable people who believe that they were born to teach. Where are we going, boys? We're going to free the slaves. Steve Sullivan challenges his students to think, feel, and at times, even eat a little history. There's a lot of worms. He's got all different kinds of kids. He's got school-level kids. He's got AP kids. He's got the neurotic type. He's got the apathetic type. If there is such a thing as fate and destiny, this is what I was supposed to do. Linda Gleason inspires her students with the art of mathematics. Look at the broken line, isn't that cute? She sets excitement for math, which is very important, because if the teacher's not excited, then the students won't get excited. I look forward to Monday morning, because I feel alive when I'm in front of my students. David Williams motivates his students to get out of their chairs, pick up an instrument, and step up to the plate. Jouer au baseball. Jouer au foot. Senor really gets into it, and he really connects with the students. Pally. Excellent. No matter what I do in life, I will always be a teacher. Coming up next, things get a little wild in the wilderness. First, it's for better or for worse, the last camping trip. Followed by your favorite lost dog and Benji the Hunted. It's all coming up right here on Disney. Weekend afternoon movies are Disney distractions. He's Benji the Hunted. Whereabouts? The forest primeval. <coughs> Proceed with caution. He's known to be cute and cuddly. And is reportedly leading a band of juvenile mountain lions to fun and adventure. So, be on the lookout for... Benji the Hunted. Today at 325, 225 Central on Disney. Central on Disney. Hi, I'm Rafael Rojas reporting for Disney near Glacier National Park. And behind me, they're taping an episode of Going Wild with Jeff Corrin. Let's go check it out. Hey, how you doing, Raphael? This gorgeous creature right here is a Canadian lynx. And just like a bobcat, it has a bobtail, pointy ears, and these giant pad-like paws it uses to take down its prey. Wow, so this is your job? Hanging out with animals all day? Well, you know what? Ever since I was your age, I loved creatures. And now I get to study them firsthand because I'm an ecologist, which is someone who studies animals and the environment they live in. In fact, we're studying lynx and porcupines. And right over there, I heard there was one hanging out in a tree. Would you like to try to find it? Cool, let's go. I actually saw you eat termites on your show. Uh -huh. How'd you get the nerve to do that? Well, Raphael, that was in Belize. And I ate the termites to show people that they're actually a good form of protein. Need some ketchup. I saw you hold a tarantula once on your show. Didn't that gross you out? It didn't gross me out at all because tarantulas are just another living thing, just like a squirrel or a bird. 
by the way, Jeff's a trained animal expert. So leave the animal handling to him. Did you hear that? It's right up there. Come here. And there it is, the creature we've been looking for. It's a young porcupine. And like all mammals, it's covered with fur or hair. But unlike other different types, this hair has been modified into sharp quills for stabbing predators. Looks like you got some quills up there. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I learned a lot. Next time I'll see you, it'll be on your show. Going Wild with Jeff Corin. Tonight at 7 6 Central on Disney. Tomorrow night on Magical World of Disney, we've got two movies where good guys rule. Interrupt this promo for a rebuttal from one of the bad guys. Jafar here on behalf of villains everywhere. Remember that without us, Aladdin would be just another rat in a sandbox. And those hocus pocus children would have nothing to do but twiddle their stubby little thumbs. Thanks to us, it's not so boring to be so good. <laughs> so don't miss the return of Jafar and Hocus Pocus. Tomorrow night at 7, 6 Central on Disney. Coming up next, everyone's favorite movie mutt gets stranded in the woods where he meets some pretty dangerous critters. He even does his own stunts in Benji the Hunted, next, here on Disney. Where are you going?